Clutch City Farms. All gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. We're back with some more from Clutch City Farms, guys. Like I told you, we'd be getting to these soon. Didn't know it was going to be quite this soon. We just took a look at that triple seven and the dragon spread this morning. Both very, very good strains. Uh, I had a nice little buzz for several hours, actually. Uh, and I couldn't wait to get back in here and check out the side pieces. We got side piece number two and side piece number five here from Clutch City Farms. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and read the description from Clutch City Farms on these. And then we will dive into these, get us a good look at it, and come back up on top and smoke on them. So, side piece number two. On first glance, you will be immediately noticed. You will immediately notice the indica structure with tight, dense, medium-sized nugs. Trichomes are iced out white, giving it an amazing coverage and vibrant color between the orange hairs and the dark purple buds and lighter green leaves. Hands down, side piece number two is a new favorite. With the classic adult use aroma everyone has been seeking in the CBD hip market, you will regret opening a can of side piece number two in public as she is pungent and loud. Expect funky, creamy, coffee notes with sweet gas trailing on the back end. The sweet gas is attributed to the spicy earthy notes mixed with sweet floral lemon citrus notes. Side piece number two tests at almost 16% total CBD and over 19 total cannabinoids. <clears throat> Top four terpenes, b carpaline, myrcene, linalool, and limonene. That sounds really good. And I don't know if I've had any CBD with those coffee notes in it. Uh, I've had some regular marijuana with those coffee notes in it. And I really do like that. That flavor that aroma uh, so side piece number two is gonna be super interesting matter of fact let's go ahead and crack this one open again we got the little the little kitty cans except for instead of kibble we got some gas in here let's go ahead and crack this open get you guys oh I smell it already oh Holy shit, man. That's gas. That is super gassy. Mm, super, super gassy. Oh, it smells so good. What other aromas do they have in here? Coffee creamy? Funky? Mm. Sweet gas trailing on the back end. I get a lot of gas out of this. Uh... I got a lot of gas out of that triple seven as well. Uh, that one turned out to have a little bit of that uh, hashish flavor to it, but it's very gassy. And this side piece number two is gassy, gassy, gassy. Love it. Love it. Love the packaging too. Super, super dope. All right, moving on. We got side piece number five. Side piece number five. Let's take a look at here. See what they have to say about side piece number five. And then we'll crack it open and get us a peek here. All right. Side piece number five is one you won't be able to let go. She has the classy, cushy, earthy, nutty funk you should immediately recognize like adult use cush strains. Such terpenes translate to euphoric relaxing sensation most enjoyed in the evening. This strain packs a nice dense buds between medium and large size nugs. The classic indica kush structure and forest green leaves. Trichomes are iced out and packed on heavily that will make your jaw drop. Hands down, side piece number five is another new favorite. With the classic adult use aroma everyone has been seeking in the CBD hemp market, extremely pungent and loud with gassy cush notes and creamy nutty finish. 
the notes are kind are the kind that is so funky you can't help but keep opening your cans to smell for more i know i've been doing that several times today <laughs> you just can't get enough of this shit uh Side piece number five tests at over 12% CBD with over 15% total cannabinoids. The top four terpenes present is b carefeline b humulene linalool, and limonene. So these two are somewhat similar, it sounds like. Let's go ahead and crack open side piece number five. Give us a peek, get us a whip. Come on, I'm cheating. All right, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Side piece number five. Fucking gas. Gas. It's so, oh my god, these buds are so damn beautiful too. Gas on gas on gas today, guys. Coming out of Clutch City Farms. They ain't kidding. All gas, no brakes. Just want to keep opening them cans up and looking at these buds and smelling the aroma coming off these gas just gas golly guys let me know in the comments down below if you've had some flour from clutch city farms and your thoughts so far as far as i'm concerned gas let's dive down get us a little uh Get us a little nug porn going. Get us a look at this here flower. I'll get some rolled up. We'll come back up on top and we'll smoke on them, guys. Side piece number two. Side piece number five from Clutch City Farms. All gas, no brakes. Let's go. All right, guys, <clears throat> ready to fucking party? Back up on top. These some bitches are looking real good. I gotta tell you, <clears throat> just killer looking flower. Especially the side piece number two. It really caught my eye. They both look very, very good. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of favoring that side piece number two right now. Both of them have a very uh, skunky aroma. The side piece number five, as I was breaking into it and getting one rolled up for us, I will say that nutty finish kind of came out of it, uh, almost like a pecan shell or something like that, uh, behind that gas. And then the side piece number two, I'm getting like little hints of that citrus out of that, that classic like Bubba Kush, uh, that Kush kind of aroma to it uh, behind that gas. Both of them on top though. Very loud, very gassy uh, <clears throat> aroma. Now, let's go ahead and fire up the side piece number five. Very, very gassy. Uh, even on the dry pull, very, very gassy. Hang on a second. All right, much better. Sorry, I had the air conditioner on. I know that's a little bit loud and definitely annoying. All right, if you got it, fire it up, guys. Smoke with me. Side piece number five from Clutch City Farms. All gas, no brakes. Mmm. Oh. Mm, 
nice full bodied smoke very gassy smoke I still get a little bit of that nutty finish on it, that creamy nutty finish that they mentioned. But it's very minute. I'm primarily just getting straight up gas. Very, very good. Very good. Oh yeah, nice full-bodied smoke. It's got a little bit of throat grab to it. A little, little carefuline in there, I'm sure. It's right there in front of me. Yes, it is. <clears throat> a little bit of trash I got out of this, guys. Here's the stems. You know, fits on a fingertip. That's what I like to see. But there was one thing I didn't want to see. Now I might just be just, just this one bud. It might just been this one bud in this whole can that I got, or it might be the whole can. I don't know. I just cracked it open, obviously, but I do want to mention, I got another fingertip here. Little bitty seeds, must be 15, 20 of them there, that I got out of this one bud, just this one joint. So I didn't even put this to the grinder, broke it up completely by hand because I started getting these little bitty seeds out of it. That's kind of a Debbie Downer for me, but you know, with those little bitty seeds, like they don't, they don't really taste like the big seeds, even if you was to smoke them. But you know, I'm I'm a real stickler for clean flour. No seeds, no stems in my shit. All right, <clears throat> you would know if I sold pre rolls how much of a stickler I am. Other than that, though. The flower is gas. First thought when I started getting all those little bitty seeds out of it and then I got into side piece number two was if I had I had to choose one of these two I probably would have went with the side piece number two just because of that fact. But smoking on it? I don't know. It's so tasty and so gassy. I'm feeling some type of way about it. And I'm catching a nice buzz off of this as well. Right here. And my body is nice and relaxed. Alright. We better not smoke too much side piece number five. Because we still got number two to get to. But hands down that is some gas. Alright. Side piece number five. Or number two rather. I'm <laughs> getting them mixed up now. Uh. Broke up really nice. Very nice clean flour. Get no seeds out of that one at all. Just enough trash. Just enough stems there. Fit on a fingertip. Yeah. It's sticky too. Just like the others. Nice sticky flour. Beautiful flour. This one here is just absolutely gorgeous to me. They were both absolutely gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But this one really, really stuck out to me. Just the colors in it. And the frost on it. It is absolutely beautiful. Very gassy. Like I said, this one here, I'm getting some, uh, I'm getting some of that like cush aroma to it. Some of that, a little bit of citrus maybe in this one. On top of that gas, <clears throat> it smells divine. It looks really good. Let's fire it up and smoke on side piece number two. Mmm. Again, very gassy. It's got about the same amount of throat grab to it. <clears throat> These two are pretty similar. They are, I mean, in my opinion, which may not mean shit to you, but in my opinion, these two are very similar. The side piece number two has got a little bit of a citrus note in it. And it's got a little bit of that coffee note to it. Not a real strong coffee note. But it's got little hints of that coffee note to it. It's got little hints of citrus in it. And it's very, very gassy. Very gassy. Another nice full-bodied smoke. 
Now this one I can tell it's got a little bit more throw grab than the side piece number five. Mm. Mm. Very, very good. Mm. Mm. What other flavor am I pulling out of here? I feel like I'm pulling something else out of here that's not mentioned. Must just be in the earth. It must just be the. It's got a little bit of an earthiness to it, but not much. Oh man, just a nice full-bodied smoke <clears throat> with a bit of throat grab to it. Gassy. Oh, I gotta say. I am truly impressed with Clutch City Farms. This has been a real treat. And I know they have more coming down the pipeline. Hopefully we can get our hands on those because I definitely want to uh I definitely want to try out some more. Oh wow. I don't know if it was this one or yeah it was this one uh please enjoy in the pm as you can expect extreme euphoria and relaxation from full experience <laughs> i agree i think that the side pieces are probably good nighttime strains <clears throat> but all four of these have been pretty heavy oh man what a treat. Clutch City Farms, guys. Check them out. www.clutchcityfarms.net. You can use code CLOUD. That'll save you 15% off your purchase over there at Clutch City Farms. Pick you up some of this flower and see for yourself the gas beyond. It's so tasty. It's so tasty. It really is. God damn. That's enough of that. I'm ready to sit back and chillax. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Share it on social media. Turn your notification bell so you, on so you do get those notifications uh, when I pop up more reviews. <clears throat> All gas, no brakes, Clutch City Farms. Keep it nice and cloudy, y'all. Peace.